Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my January update to the Project Level Up. This was created by Sophie Alexandra, and I do have her link down below. For this project, we are to choose a palette, and for the first level, we are to use every shade one time, hit one pan. Level two, use every shade two times, and hit two pans, etc. For this year and the last year, I added in a little bit of a twist in that I'm exclusively working on my Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. They are some of my most expensive palettes in my collection, and I don't have a lot of use on them. So I have done levels one through four last year. I will have that playlist linked down below, and I was able to get use on four of my palettes. They look very well loved now. So I'm excited to continue with Natasha Denona palettes this year as well. So for level one, I did randomize it. I have all of my Natasha Denona palettes in a wheel. I use, I forget what it is, Tiny Decisions app, that's what it is. I have them all listed there. I spun the wheel and the palette that I got is the Alloy palette. So that is the one I am working on for level one. I rolled that in at the very end of December. So this is my first update with this palette. So let's start off like I always do by popping pictures up on the screen. The palette on the top is what it looked like when I rolled it into this project, it was brand new. And the picture on the bottom is what it looks like currently. And let's go over the number of uses I have on each one of these eyeshadows. I have eight uses on the shade Golden Flesh. I have one use on the shade Earth. I have one use on the shade Flesh. I have one use on the shade Suntan, and I have one use on the shade Atria. So I have hit one of my goals, and I have used every single one of these eyeshadows one time. Obviously, Golden Flesh, the first one in the palette, is the one that I am focusing in on. I guess I could turn it right side up. So this is the one that I'm trying to hit pan on. I have eight uses so far on this. Hopefully you can see I have a decent dip going on but these take a while for me to be able to hit pan. So let's go ahead and swatch these out. This is Golden Flesh, the one I wanna hit pan in. It is beautiful. I do have this towards the outer corner of my eye look today. Next is the shade Earth. It is a deep brown matte shade right there. The lightest shade in the palette is called Flesh. Very beautiful color. The next shade is called Suntan. This is more of a kind of a burnt orange shade. It's another matte right there. And then the final shade in the palette is called Atria and it is a beautiful gold shimmer. It's one of those old gold type shades. So this is it right here. Beautiful neutral color story. It's the same great Natasha Denona formula that I love. If I'm remembering correctly, I think that this was a BoxyCharm exclusive palette. This is something that Deb got and gifted to me. I did not purchase this on my own, so if you're wondering where that has come from or why you haven't seen it around, I think that's where it was from as a BoxyCharm exclusive. So I have not hit my goal, as you can obviously tell eight uses on this. It's probably gonna take me at least another 15 uses to hit pan on these. That's been the typical amount of uses I need to hit pan in a Natasha Denona Shimmer Shadow in these, I think they're two and a half gram size pans. Looking at the weight of this palette, over the past month, I have used up 0 0.09 grams worth of eyeshadows. It's not a lot, but it never is, especially when you're using a lot of matte eyeshadows from Natasha Denona. They are so difficult to hit pan in, and a little bit is all you need, and you get amazing payoff. This shade right here does work really well with some of the brown shimmers and mattes that are in my Pan That palette. The first part of the year I'm focusing in on my Glam Light Glam Donut palette. And in there, there are a couple of neutral shades. There is a beautiful neutral shimmer as well as a matte shade. It looks kind of like a burnt orange in the pan, but it is a little bit more red tone. It's, it's a beautiful shade, it's hard to describe. But I've been able to pair that with this shade right here and they work really well together. Even though I'm not focusing in on my neutral pan that palette for the first half of the year, I am finding myself wearing lots of neutrals to try to hit pan in this shade. I'm gonna have to play around and see if I can't use this shade and mix it in with some of my more colorful eyeshadows. Maybe this can be something that I put on my lower lash line 
as I'm wearing maybe purples or blues or pink looks. I'm gonna play around with this over the next month and see if I can't combine it with some of the more colorful shades so that I can get more uses out of those bright colorful sh shadows in my Pan That palette. So that is my entire update. It is short, sweet, simple, and to the point. I wish I had more progress to show you, but I am working on a lot of eyeshadows this year. That is everything that I have for you before you go. If you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.